All right, so we're going to talk about analyzing arguments. Uh, so let's start with uh, some terminology here. Uh, we're going to look at inductive versus deductive arguments. So inductive uh, is any time when we go from a specific idea to a general conclusion. So specific to general. Okay, uh, things like um, if I look out in the world and I see something fly past me and it's a hummingbird and I look and I see a cardinal and I look and I see a bluebird, um, I've lo found three different birds that I think specifically um, that I know for a fact they fly, so I might conclude that all birds have to fly then. Okay. Uh, let's go the other route. Deductive is if I take a general statement and I apply it to a specific situation. So I might go in thinking um, the statement, all doctors are intelligent. Uh, and then what do I know? Well, I happen to know someone who's a doctor, so therefore I'm going to think that person is also intelligent. May or may not be true, but I might think that. Okay, uh, an inductive argument uh, is not something that we can say proves something is true. Going back to the bird argument, um, even though all the birds I see fly, uh, there are in fact birds that don't fly. So I can't make that general statement that all birds fly. Um, so when we talk about an argument, um, we're going to define uh, how good it is based on its strength. Okay, and so when we talk about uh, an argument being strong, or not, um, we consider an argument strong if a compelling case is made for the conclusion of the argument. We consider the argument weak if the conclusion is not well supported by its premises. In other words, um, we, we use the word strong and weak all the time. So if the evidence is, is over, overbearing and it's, it's just so much evidence that something's got to have some truth to it, we say that that's got to be a true argument. And if we are given evidence that's, that's not even relevant or that doesn't, even, that doesn't prove anything, um, we would then say that that's a weak argument. Okay, so here's an example we'll, we'll kind of think about. Uh, a movie director tells her producer who pays for the movie not to worry. Her film will be a hit. As evidence, she cites the following facts. She's hired big stars for lead roles. She's had great advertising campaign planned, and it's a sequel to her last movie. Uh, explain why this argument is inductive and evaluate its strength. Okay, well, so she, she's saying, don't worry, uh, Here's some specific things that I have done in the past that convince you that you should not worry. Okay, so the fact that she's going to specific statements to generalize statement of don't worry uh, means that it is an inductive argument that she's trying to hit at. Okay, now, um, is her argument strong or is it weak? Uh, well, think about her evidence. Uh, She's hired big stars for lead roles. So is hiring a big star a guarantee that it will make money? Unfortunately, we can think of more terrible examples that have famous people in it than good ones. Uh, she's got a great advertising campaign. Well, just because you sink money in it doesn't mean that it'll be popular. Uh, a sequel to her last movie. Well, you tell me. How many times have a sequel improved upon the formula? Uh, so is her argument weak or strong? Uh, it's actually kind of on the weak side. Um, there's not a lot of uh, things that are sure that are uh, guaranteed to happen, so the producer should still be worried. Okay. Uh, all right. As far as um, deductive arguments then, uh, we're going to talk about something called valid and sound. So these are related to deductive Arguments. So we consider to be uh, an argument is valid 
if the conclusion follows necessarily from its premises, regardless of the truth of the premises or conclusion. So we still get to say something is valid if A implies B, B implies C, C implies D. So if we can connect the dots, we consider that to be a valid argument. Uh, then we get to also throw in addition to the word sound. And an argument is sound if it's uh, considered to be valid uh, and all its premises itself happen to be true. Okay, so just kind of compare uh, these ideas. So an inductive is when we go uh, specific to general. Deductive is reverse of that, is a general statement to a specific conclusion. Uh, we analyze an inductive argument on its strength and it's either um, weak or strong. And we analyze a deductive argument um, whether or not it's valid or sound, or valid and sound, I'm sorry. So it's not an either or thing. Uh, an argument can be valid and it can not be sound. An argument can be not valid, but it can be sound. Um, an inductive argument uh, cannot prove uh, it, that the conclusion is true, um, but it can it's highly suggest. So it can imply that there is some merit to the, the conversation and maybe there's some more evidence out there. But So an inductive argument uh, does not prove So it's not a guarantee that it's always true, uh, but may suggest that there is some truth to it. Um, and as far as the deductive arguments are concerned, uh, the validity concerns only logical structure. A deductive argument can be valid even when its conclusion is false. Okay, so let me kind of go back through that. So we can still have a good deductive argument even if the conclusion itself is false. We can still connect the dots and there can still be evidence to support. Um, doesn't guarantee that the deductive uh, is going to prove anything um, in a specific case. So the validity only refers to the structure. can, let's see, argument can be valid even if conclusion is false. Conclusion is false. 